Hi, for my power electronic subject, this is summative assessment 2. This is our midterm examination. So, this is half wave rectifier with our L source load. This is set B. Um, the problem is a half wave rectifier with a series inductor and DC source has an AC source of 100 volts RMS and 60 Hertz. The DC source is 24 volts. We are asked to use t spice to determine the value of inductance which results in 50 watts absorbed by the DC source. We are asked to use the default diode. So to do this experiment, we'll need the application or CAD B spice. So to do that, we're going to create a new project. This is our midterm. So I'm going to name it midterm, create a new blank project. Next, we're going to place the components in the circuit. So let's place a sine voltage source and an inductor. Also, we'll place a, a D brake here. Let's click on that and another DC source, voltage source. And then after that, of course, we'll need the ground and let's wire the circuit. Connect this here. There are in series and the ground. Next, let's rename the components. BAC. This one is D-brake, that's okay. And this one is VTC. Okay, next, change the values. This is 24 VTC and V off should be set to 0. For the V amplitude, since we're given the RMS value in our problem, we need to convert it to its amplitude. So this is the formula. V RMS is S times 2. Substituting the values, we're, we're going to get 169.71. So place it here. Frequency is 60 and AC value should be 0. Click OK. Then let me just adjust this. Next, we're going to change the inductance value to a parameter because we're going to determine what should be the value so we can get 50 watts as our, as our output. In order for us to determine the parameters, we need to place a part. What we're going to do is click here and make sure that it's on P spice and click here the special and then here support. Click param for parameters and place it in the circuit. After that, we need to double click parameters and click on new property. Yes, and put this uh, name L and the value 0 0.1. Click OK and then yes again. And here in new property, L and click apply. I forgot to click apply and then that should be okay. Let's just close this. And once the 0 0.1 here in L is uh, present, just right click, display, and name and value. After that, you can already see the L is 0 0.1 here. And the next step is to create a new simulation. So to do that, click new simulation. Um, name this, I'm gonna name it midterm. After this, we need to edit the simulation settings this pop-up window should appear and here it is important that we check parametric sweep let's check that and here in general settings 16.67 milliseconds that should be our runtime and here let's um global parameter let's check that and start value is 0 0.1 and value is 0 0.2 with an increment of 0 0.005 after that, we're good to go. Make sure that that's set and click apply. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is run the simulation. This should open the PSPICE application. And as we open this, we're, we're going to see the generated inductor values based from the input parameter values. Uh, next, uh, we're going to add the trace for uh there that trace and next cursor on since we're looking for the power 
uh, let's put the cursor here at the very uh, end of the waveform. As you can see, there are multiple values. Uh, here, we're going to select the one that's closest to 50 watts. So here, we're going to click this 49.524 and 51.264. So this green uh, waveform, as you can see, the parameter for the inductor is 0.14. And um, as you can see, this is for the 51.2. 264 so this is what we're going to set in the end time so for the stop time in the simulation uh for the start time rather for the simulation we're going to put 0.145 since we got it from 49.524 so here we're going to edit the simulation we're going to go to param parametric sweep and change the start value to 0.14 and one is 0.4 1.145 and the increment to 0 0.001 there and click apply after that um, the same available section should appear for the inductor values we're going to add the trace, the average, and the power in the VDC. So as we turn on the cursor again, sa pinakadulo, we can observe a closer value to the uh, expected 50 watts. So here we can see their violet waveform. Ah, no, the yellow and the pink. The pink has a value of 49. This is the start time, 0.144. And the yellow one is 50.336. We're going to check the induction parameter, 0.143. Again, we're going to place these values of the parameters. While in the uh, simulation, we're going to edit the simulation. And parametric sweep, going to change this to point. 144 and this to 0.143 and click the increment add 10 0, 0 0.0001 and apply play again and here check that okay add trace again the same procedure and at the very end of the waveform as we turn on the cursor we can see this value for the cursor one this is 49.995 it is much closer to 50 watts and the cursor two the cur another cursor this is for 50.000 uh 030 rather these parameters 0 0.1434 and the other one is 0.1433 these are the parameters that we're going to place in the inductor value we're going to change this with those two parameters so we're going to delete that and we're going to edit this to the value that we got which is 0 0.1434 and later we're going to check the other one but first let's check this if we have this value Let's run the simulation, but first, um, remove the parametric sweep and apply 16.67 milliseconds, and let's click run, and with an inductor value of 0 0.1434, we add the same average for the power in VDC. As you can see, there's a single waveform, and at the very end, we can observe a value of 50.002 which is very close to 50 watts and the other one um, is uh, this is for the 0 0.1434 the other value we're going to change the inductor the inductor value to 0 0.1433 which is the lower induct induction value 
and there I'm going to run it again and add trees the average power in VDC click on that and click OK and as we turn on the cursor here at the very end for the power average power we can see a value of 0 0.047 so this means that these are the uh, approximate values of the inductor 0 0.1434 and 0 0.1433450 watts